I think this is the most exciting and powerful exhibit we've ever put together in our 30 year history. Um, over the years we met a, a dozen guys who had surfed in Vietnam and they said if it hadn't been for surfing when I came back from Vietnam, I don't know what my life would have been like but it wouldn't have been good. So we thought maybe there's a story here and after two years of research and meeting and interviewing over 60 veterans, this is our story. I got there just in time for Tet, and Tet was a bad day. And when everything settled down and everything, I wandered around and I went over and I found this place called, called China Beach now. Me and Ralph built the shop with all the wood that we could confiscate and find and everything with all the club members. I pretty much ran everything, took care of it, issued the cards. They had surfboards there, and it was a beach, and it was like a beach back home and everything. In 68, that's when the China Beach Surf Club and the building here at the exhibit, it came forth and, and made that history during that one year. Over two years ago, Jane approached me. And it's been a long process, and to see it come to fruition is just incredibly rewarding. It, it's taken about 50 years, but it's... Uh... <laughs> they, they knocked it out of the park. They're right on with the pictures that we sent them and everything. They've been so gracious in here. And just being able to meet all the other fellow vets that serve. What was really neat about, for me, about coming this coming together, when I was stationed over at Quaviet, I thought I was kind of unique. After the fact, when all this was coming together, you find about all these other guys and their stories. And that is so cool.